All right, we're all again back again. And we've had the sad news that there will be no Doctor Who in 2016. So I'm gonna to have to make the best of it to make what Doctor Who videos I can. Which includes this one, featuring Clara Oswald, the action figure. And it's not the crappy three and three quarter inch version. Here we go with a full five and a half inch version. Now I hate to start this with a bit of a rant, but there's a bit of a rant coming. You see, I'm a collector of the five inch versions of these figures. I love them, really good. A couple of issues here and there, but that's a story for another time. So when they switched to three and three quarter inch, I wasn't happy. They looked like there was not going to be any 12th Doctor in the 5 inch scale. Which just annoyed me so much. It left a collector like me out in the cold. It was Marvel Legends all over again. But because of fan demand, they brought out the collector's range. Okay, they're not bringing out many figures for it, but they don't need to. I'm fine with that. What they did still do though, was they changed the scale. Not massively, not crazily, half an inch. Just that little bit, just enough to make them not quite line up so well. It's no big deal, it should still work, but really, why have they done that? Was that just to keep the collectors guessing? Still, hasn't stopped me picking up this figure, so let's take a look at it. Firstly, let's have a look at the packaging. Couldn't see Clara in through the window box. Her name at the bottom. Five and a half inch collector series. Doctor Who logo. Doctor Who logo, name of the figure. Character building website. Profile of the character on the back. Picture of the figure. All the usual guff you'd expect from the box. But we didn't come here to look at the box now, did we? It's a nice looking box and I'm sure there's a lot of mint on card collectors. But that's not why we're here. We're here to pop this bad boy open. Or oh, this bad girl, if you will. Because hey, you know my thoughts on Clara if you've been a fan of my channel for any time. If you haven't, go back, check my Dog True reviews out. You'll soon learn. Let's crack it open. Play with the figure inside. Okay, so here it is out of packaging. Add a little bit of a play around. And I think I've found most of the strengths and weaknesses. So let's have a quick run through of it, shall we? So firstly, you can see I've got her on the board she was in the box. Mostly because she didn't come with any accessories. And I'm trying to make the best of it. As if this is an accessory. It's not. And the minute I pick her up, it's gonna fall over. But it's, it's something at least. It looks good as a backdrop. Okay, so I've got rid of it now because we want to run through what the figure's actually like, starting with likeness. As you can see, it kind of looks like her. It's not fantastic, and it's a bit dead-eyed, but it's all right. It, it looks enough like her to know who it is. It doesn't particularly feature much in terms of paint. She's wearing a purple dress, which is a separate piece stuck on. It will in fact peel up if you really want it to. Showing you, just give you a brief look. You can see flesh underneath. I don't know if you can see that there actually. Pull it up a touch further. You know, flesh underneath, as probably you'd expect. Only painted detail I can actually see on it is 
the watch, which seems fine. And the details on the face, which, as we've discussed, they're acceptable. They're fine. I have no problem with that. No paint bleed, but then there's not much paint to bleed. Which takes us to articulation. Now, the dress restricts this slightly, and I've had a few issues with it already. But we'll give it a quick run through anyway. The head will turn, but because of the hair and the shoulders, it's a little restricted. Not majorly, but enough to comment on. The arms do a full 360. 360. Bend at the elbows, upper arm, upper arm swivel, the arms also move out to the side. Waist rotation, legs go forwards, backwards, restricted by the skirt, upper thigh swivel, single jointed knees, and that's about it. Though the arm does come off when you try to use this articulation. The elbow's a little bit frozen, which often leads to that popping off. Oh, one other bit I forgot. The feet will turn. And they will also, with a little coaxing, pop off. But that's not so bad. Much easier on that one. So the question becomes, would I recommend this figure? And the answer is... Probably, yeah. If you like Clary, you definitely should have it in your collection. Am I glad I've got it? Well, I'm not disappointed in it. Anyone wanting to collect the companions has to have this figure. And they'll be pleased with it. I'm pleased with it. That's the best I can say. Best recommendation I can give. That pretty much summarises everything about the figure. So, till I'm back with some more Doctor Who stuff, see they.